everyone and welcome to Two for Tuesday where I take one ingredient use it for two reasons. My name is Sarah Manoresi and welcome to my kitchen. Um, this is going to be a fabulous, so easy meal prep that involves vegetables that even your kids will eat. Because um, my kids don't like vegetables. I know, it's so sad. They like some of them. So this is a really great recipe to get your kids who are more picky eaters really into trying new things. So. I have cut up a head of cauliflower and a head of broccoli. Um, yes, that is a lot of vegetables, but you're gonna use this twice in your meal, um, in your week. And then I'm going to add in some olive oil, about two tablespoons or so. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. You can definitely measure it out if you're more of a measurer kind of person. I am sometimes, but I forgot what I was doing. So I then put the tablespoon measure on the counter. Um, so we're just gonna quickly toss this in olive oil. I've already preset my oven to 375 degrees, and I'm going to add some salt. Now this is a lot more cauliflower than I had anticipated, so you just kinda have to go with it. If you need to add a little bit more olive oil, it's not gonna hurt anything, it just helps it roast a little bit better. Um, Cause this is a whole lot. And then you just put them in a baking dish and you're going, to cover, you're going to cover it and cook it for half an hour covered, like so. And I have a beautiful cover that goes on top of that. I'm just going to add a little bit more salt because you can always add a little bit more seasoning when it's done. And then um, I'm going to take the lid off and I'm going to uncover it and like cook for about another 15 minutes, 15 to 30 minutes. Now what's great about this is that I have bought myself a pre-made chicken at Costco um, because why make it yourself when they make a really good one that's already cooked and it's five bucks you know I'm just saying so I can use these things for two things I can either have it um, this is just the side and the chicken or I can make a fabulous pasta recipe where I will take some of this vegetable so we'll have one night the chicken and the separate but then I'll take some of this veg, put it on the side, I'll reheat it, and then I can boil some pasta or um, little, you probably don't want one that has ridges, you want ones that are small and flat and smooth and that kind of thing, because this is gonna be just like lightly tossed in olive oil and some really great garlic. Um, gonna add some Parmesan cheese to it, you can put the chicken in with it too, toss it all together, and it's really great. Um, one other really cool thing that you can do too, is you can roast garlic while you're at it. Just cut off the top so that you expose the garlic cloves themselves and then just a little bit off the sides all around. And you take this and you pour a little bit of olive oil on top and put it in the pan with this and do it at the same time. So your first night you can spread it over bread if you want or the second night you can actually put it in some olive oil once it's nice and smooth and creamy and flavor the olive oil before you toss it with the pasta. And just super easy like that. And you have two meals for the entire week and it's gonna be great. And even if you don't toss with this pasta, it's really great uh, vegetables that you can really use anytime throughout the week as either a side or it also goes really well with turkey, um, I don't know, you could do so much with it. You can make a broth, you can use a, make a soup out of it too. I'm just getting the wheels turning. So maybe that's something I'll be doing on a future two for Tuesday. If you want the recipe, the, if it's in the link below, or you can go to my YouTube channel or my website, sarahmanaresti.com. Hope you're having a fabulous day and I will talk to you later.